A few videos back, I shared the experience of finding some cassettes that someone had thrown out. My intention in grabbing them was to use them for sampling on my new sampler. I said I'd do a little video exploring the sampling process and show a little bit of how I create ambient samples for my live sets, so here it is. Initially, I thought I'd start with something really simple and easy to sample, uh, like this classical music compilation. The first track is from Beethoven, and it's called the Fidelio Overture, performed by the Budapest Symphony Orchestra. Pretty quickly, I found a spot that would work great for sampling. I thought that it would be ideal because there are some relatively clean breaks and longer string pads without a lot of movement or counter melody. Let's take a listen. Now that I have a brief segment to zone in on, it's time to run it through the sampler and record a portion of music to one of the sample pads. Let's record that real quick. Now that I have a larger portion, I'm going to use the sampler to zoom in on certain portions and perform a truncate command, which essentially means cut out extra audio at these places. This will shorten the track and then give me a smaller piece of audio to work in. You can zoom in pretty far to get a really clean cut, but for the purposes of this video and also for what I'm envisioning for the sample, I won't need to make the most perfect cut ever. I'll just need enough audio that it could somewhat smoothly loop on itself based on the timing of the piece. Now that the clip is truncated, it should sound like this. Okay, let's get a little weirder with it. The sampler comes with all sorts of features and effects built into it, and I think some really simple effects should work here. Specifically, a tape delay and some pitching down. The delay will help ease the audio loop transition and cause a larger, more reverby sound, and the pitch down will give a bit of atmosphere and also slow the audio track down and mellow it out. This is actually sounding really good. The combination of the tape hiss and the lo-fi sampling and the effects create something really beautiful and ambient. With this sampler, it's honestly that simple to create something like this. However, to get something a little more dynamic, it will take some more work. Let's sample another portion to another pad and then see what we can do with it. So this portion is much more active and it starts to swell and almost crescendo. I like that it's moving but I want to tone it down a bit or at least get a little more psychedelic with it. I've already recorded this sample with the tape delay on, so it's now hardwired with some delay, which should double up on top of the other delay I use when I use it live. Reversing the sample should get a vibey feel easily. However, I want something a bit more interesting so I'm going to use the ping pong loop feature, which causes the clip to play forwards and then loop backwards, and then continue to repeat that pattern. Here's what it will sound like.
honestly, I'm liking these a lot. I can already imagine them pairing well with some other samples or simply being standalone audio portions. When I combine them though, they start to really do some cool things by playing off each other and even getting a little dissonant here and there. So here you have it. This is just one tiny portion of one tape. Imagine what I could do with multiple tapes of various genres. Even if I use the same techniques and effects on other tracks, I'll get wildly different outcomes. It truly is a treasure of audio. Thank you, as always, to you lovely patrons for supporting this channel. With your support, you help me make videos like this possible. And if you're not a patron yet, but you enjoy my music and this project, be sure to check out the page and consider subscribing. I release behind the scenes videos, early audio releases, and extra content and blog posts for my patrons. If you know what Patreon is, then you get it. But you can feel good about supporting my music while also getting exclusives. Till next time.